This NFL futures highest and lowest scoring edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is brought to you by Circa Sports. They're back with their Circa Survivor and Circa Millions contest, $14 million up for grabs. Get all the details over at CircaSports.com. Ooh, welcome everyone to the Sports Gambling Podcast. I'm Sean, second the money green with my partner in picks, Ryan. Real money, Kramer. What's happening, Cram? Dog. Can you smell it, Sean? Hmm. What's that smell? Grass. Oh. Sweat. <laughs> trumpet saliva. Trumpet saliva. I you love know, it. Either the part you spit out, <laughs> the spittle. But the reed, whatever that thing is, spit oh, valve. Yeah, it's a brass instrument. Clean out your spit valve for the NFL on Fox theme song. We're here. We're talking NFL futures right around the corner, Ryan. Sunday oh. night, when we're in this studio, oh. we will be taping oh. our first NFL team preview oh. Arizona Cardinals. Uh, we have to know when to come. <laughs> the world's been waiting for your Gannon take. I did get a Bears. Oh, yeah. Benedict Dantold uh, was chirping about his Bears, and he goes, "I've been waiting for your Bears prediction all off season." And my response was just <laughs> August first, eleven a.m. Pacific. Benedict Dantold in the chat, youtubecom podcast. We are live here every Sunday to Thursday, eight thirty Pacific, and uh, going to be doing some double sessions. Yeah. Early oh. session, oh. Uh, eleven a.m. Pacific for the team previews. Gonna then go drink some hose water, uh, shower off a yeah. little bit, get some cardio in, and then uh, make another run at it. Yeah, I think I, I worked out the complete schedule today. So if you're interested when we're gonna do your team, you can slide into my DMs, and I if I'm feeling nice, I'll I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll let you know. But yeah, basically uh, Sunday through Thursday night will be eight thirty p.m. Pacific, and Monday through Friday. For the most part, we'll be on at 11 a.m. So, uh, we're working hard, Sean. Working bet, hard, bet. putting in the uh, extra effort. And uh, this episode is going to be great too because they just released highest and lowest oh, scoring beautiful. teams and fewest points allowed. So these are kind of some fun uh, team markets. Again, just wetting our hmm. beaks, getting ready for the National Football League. Uh, oh, real quick before you get to oh, this, right? How dare you? I, I, well, it's going to be good. But I, I did see that uh, our guy Bruni was giving out 50, 50 picks for fifty days Love until it. football. Love a good gimmick. Uh, well, and I was I, I was like, damn, I you know what? He's so far ahead of me in the best ball <laughs> drafts. I I was tallying up the number of plays I have on the NFL right now. Sean, get, guess the number. It's uh, not. I'll tell you. It's I am not yet to fifty. Thirty six. Holy shit! Thirty eight. I have thirty eight. I have thirty eight. Yes, some sir. some hard to bet, like the same bet twice, like say Dan Jones MVP, things like that. Dan right. Jones, uh, Ryan. Anyway, of course, sorry, get those trumpets. All right, get the trumpets blaring. Fire them up. NFL is back right around the corner. What better way to celebrate the National Football League than sign it up for the Circa Millions and the Circa Survivor Contest? Pretty easy. All you gotta do: head out to Circus Sports in beautiful Las Vegas. Sign up there in Las Vegas. Play from anywhere between now and the start of the season. That first weekend, you got time. Get in there. Sign up. Fourteen million dollars in guaranteed prizes. That's sorry. Fourteen million. Are you kidding me? And of course, uh, we'll be out there. Last weekend in August, August twenty-fourth to the twenty-sixth. Perfect excuse. Come out. We're gonna be doing some live shows, hanging out, cracking some cold ones. Hanging out by the Circa Stadium Swim, they have a, there's some parties, there's some hangs out there. If you are signing up for some contests, I think they even have some uh, promos for rooms. So many ways to get involved, and again, the season-long contests are so fun. Even if you start out slow, they have quarterly prizes, they have a booby prize, plenty of ways to win. And again, these these prizes are locked in, fourteen million dollars guaranteed. Derek will be giving out. Get all the details over at circusports.com. 
literally does not need to be sold. That's how no, good it is. No. And Ryan, uh, again, happy to spread the word about circus sports, but it is eating away at our uh, our uh, EV here Bro, what because is? the the overlay. No. If, if only ten be people entered, no, I love uh, we'd be in a bunch of other spots. I, I love Derek. I love the gimmick, and I love how. You know what this is? Mm. No, I don't want to pull back the curtain, but we've gotten to spend some time with Derek off mic. Yes. And uh he's really a DJ. And I think what happened was that first year during COVID when they announced the guarantee and then COVID happened, it's like holy shit. <laughs> he got the best sweat of his life. <laughs> and so now every year he wants so badly to talk about that overlay. Well, and advertise that overlay. Advertise the overlay. And again, it is fun. Mm. You, you'll get to see if you're out there for the sign up contest, you'll see Derek because they have it on the big circus <laughs> screen how much the overlay yeah. is. And Derek's yeah. like hustling around, like, hey, sign up, you sign up, you sign up. He wants to eat away at that overlay. It is really, it's a great <laughs> insight into motivation, Ryan. Imagine like you just have your giant goal hanging on this big yeah. screen and you gotta you gotta hustle around and eat away at it. That and and I love asking him his the biggest liability yeah. at that point in the season when he's it's like, always, Oh in the email, we got the, uh, the bills. That would not be good. It is always fun. Right. And uh Andrew Rapp and Dick Dantold in the chat firing it up. Uh, of course talking about uh, Dan Snyder being officially removed from office as the commander's new owner. Uh, and we talked to Joe Thyssen. I said, Hey, are they going to change the name? Thyssen's like, I don't know. I, ho- I kind of hope they stick with commanders, but really? now it does seem uh, they're definitely changing. It does seem Do you know how much shortest merch? lived commanders. If they, if they were to immediately change the name yeah, back to something cool, Especially if they can repurpose the old Redskins logo with a different oh, yeah. R name, mm. Ooh, they're gonna blow the bank with the the merch. <laughs> the the Washington D.C. Yeah. Rascals gotta get those payments on Raccoons. that six billion dollar finance. I saw uh, Andrew Rob arguing for Red Wolves. Uh, I think Hogs is pretty cool. Just call them the Hogs again. I just keep Tutty. <laughs> Whatever we gotta <laughs> yes. do to keep Tutty. It was I actually, and I'm not gonna advocate uh, Tutty because uh, it's horrible. I, I thought he was actually tutty. he's much You're better than tutty. the blob. Uh, but again, I liked tutty. when the commanders were a disaster. I know this is horrible. In spite of the fact that uh, Dan Snyder was the guy who leaked the Gruden emails, or uh, just killed Gruden for us, uh, which all football fans love having Gruden in their life. All right, Ryan, let's get to the futures. What are we talking about here? You want to start with highest scoring or lowest scoring? Uh, why don't we start highest scoring? All right. Do you have is the sheet ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the same one we've been using all off season. Uh, you want me to send you a link? No, I have it open. Uh, I don't have the uh, last tab I see is June twelfth. Oh, hold on. Did I? Is it? Oh, it's not. It's not dragged over. Hold oh, on. I'm sli- wow. I'm sli- okay. It's on the wrong. You call side, yourself though. a spreadsheet guy. Oh, what? Ryan. Get the fuck out of here. People <laughs> saw that the 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 thing I created on very little time. I don't know where it is. Hold on. Oh, here we go. I lost it too, Sean. All right, you should see it now. Uh, Jake Paquin wanted to know what was the SGP mascot winner. We got a lot of good uh, entries. I'm gonna I'm gonna say it's still open, but uh, yeah, feel free to tweet us your mascot suggestions. I, I think we gotta once we. I think it'd be cool to get a bracket going, Ryan. A la bites bracket. Ha, let the fans vote for who is going to be our mascot, and then get Jake uh, and us to come up with a sweet logo for some shirts. I'm in. Right. Yeah, yeah, I mean, don't we just repurpose DJ Madness? Yes, that, yes. That feels like we can Bring use that, that for anything. DJ Madness, uh, lo- animal logo <laughs> edition. All right, a highest scoring team, bottom to the top, right? Obviously, sure. we can, we can, we can s- speed through some of this. Uh, you want to speed past the Arizona Cardinals and the Indianapolis Colts, the yeah. the home of the two coordinators from the Philadelphia Eagles, both two hundred to one. You you're telling me you're not buying the Colts narrative? Uh, you know, I, I I keep going back and forth on what I want to do with this Colts team. Again, we do have a couple days of research, nugget diving, nugget mining. Uh. They they are a rookie quarterback. I do like Jonathan Taylor. I I think their schedule is manageable. The the AFC South is, I think, frisky and and fairly wide open. But again, it is a new head coach, new quarterback. That does limit your ceiling. The AFC South, like straight up. Is price so funky because like the Jags prices, but we'll talk about it. They, they don't make sense to me. I'm out on both these teams. I I think with Arizona, you're just it, there's going to be limited 
I, I think limited uh, possessions. Colts too. I mean, run, running teams are going to run the clock. Probably not going to score a lot. Tampa Bay, hundred thirty to one by himself. No. Are you any of the, the veteran chirping down there? Like, have you have you kind of been reading those tea leaves? Lot of lot of vets on the Bucks. It, it does seem like they didn't sell anyone. I mean, you look at that roster for Tampa, and again, partially why I'm not buying into was the, Brady really that good? But well, Ooh. buying into the um, the Falcon love as much as um, literally every mm. person I've heard talk about the AFC South likes the Atlanta Falcons. Well, I was right? first though. Admit yourself, it. yourself included. You were first. I was market. first, uh, but. I, again, like the Bucks team, there is a ton of talent. Obviously, massive questions at quarterback, but I think their defense could be okay. I, I think they have two good receivers. I I don't know. Again, most points, not even considering them, but good environments, I a lot of domes, I, warm weather. I mean, the fact that they're yeah, I, I Todd I, Bowles I, blitzes the fuck out of them. I could. They don't seem like a team that's going to take. No, uh, I, and I don't think really any teams in the NFL do. I, there's parts where maybe the last game you want to get a good look at Nate Sudfeld, but um, for the well, most part, sometimes. like they're these teams aren't. It's the NFL. Like you can't play at half speed for and, the sake of your own. And just for reference, like w- when you're talking about a tank job, like let's think about the Bears last year. They were an exciting offense. Yeah, they averaged 19 points a game. Well, they were, it's they not were gonna interesting get it done. because they they were their defense was really bad. They racked up a ton of yards, but they were bad in the red zone, and turnovers ultimately plagued them. Um, and I and I think I'll get to I'll get to it. I get or I guess I can bring it up now. You know, past winners for most most points. Oh yeah, go for it. Um, as you would imagine, kind of chalky. Uh, 2022 Chiefs, 2021 Dallas, 2020 Green Bay, 2019 Baltimore, 2018 Kansas City, 2017 Rams. Four out of the last six, and this is interesting. If you if you do like maybe one of these chalkier teams, four of the six teams uh, highest scoring last last six also had the MVP as their quarterback. So, for instance. You like the Eagles to score the most points at plus six hundred. You're better off playing most likely Jalen Hurts MVP at eleven to one. Now there's other Burrow MVP is plus seven fifty. Oh. Maybe you're better. Maybe you're better playing Bengals to score the most points. That one's not as big of a difference. It's just something to consider that you know if you have the most points, you probably have the MVP quarterback as well. It, they seem. They seem correlated. Mm. I I don't think it's a relatively small sample size, but the league is changing. So I I'd, I'd be probably into focusing on that and 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 they. I mean, Bengals did keep their defense. Yeah, we'll we'll say that when we get to get to them. But just interesting uh, the correlation. Right, so yeah, we're out on the Bucks. Then you have uh, Texans, Titans, Commanders, and Packers all one ten to one. I I do think when you look at the Packers, I they're gonna play. They're probably gonna be. A more reliable defense than they are offense, and even in a bull case where I so I I guess I'd be I would be because they have such nice defenses to go Mm. against. That's why the Packers are interesting. They play two games against the Lions, two games against the Bears, and two games against the Vikings. Three of the worst defenses in the league. But again, you're also playing your home games at Lambeau. But they're going to be a defense first, run the ball team. So I have to cross them off. Washington is a complete X factor. This is Eric (laughs) Bieniemy. All right. So again, new ownership. Yep. There, your version is the new ownership is gonna take the basketball approach because uh, Josh Harris is coming from basketball, Magic Johnson coming from basketball. They want to tank to get this generational no, asset. Uh, no, I, I don't think they're gonna tank intentionally. I just think this is such a transition year. They're gonna have a new team name. Ron Rivera is a lame duck. Like there's just so much ready to go wrong for how this many, Commanders team. Yeah, I guess. How, uh, yeah, how many times have we seen a coach like Ron Rivera? Be asked to do something like what Jeff Fisher did in LA, where you're transitioning a franchise. Yeah. And so, yeah, I guess that that is an interesting point. It but was. It was. Ron Rivera is just the transition head coach because he he went from like he transitioning did, he did them, Carolina too. They they brought him in to kind of like steady the ship and fix the culture. Of course, Ron Rivera couldn't do that. They still were a complete disaster. Now they're selling the team, so they want to keep Ron Rivera, keep some stability in that organization. Uh, they do have, you know, Dotson. But this is his second team where he was the head coach of a team that changed own owners. Yeah. That's crazy. He's actually well equipped to do this. 
and then the Texans and Titans obviously were a big Texans and Titans stand. I, I, I think you know I'm down to the Jaguars. The Texans, um, interesting again, rookie quarterback. I, I I just can't pull the trigger on it. However, Ryan, Tennessee Titans at 110. Give me the Tennessee Titans at 110 to one to have the most points in the NFL. How are the oh Titans not the God. same as the Bucks? What do you mean? Like veteran, like strangely more win now than the public is giving them credit for in a weak division. Okay. So I guess, I, I mean, to me, here's why I, I think the te- the Titans are a better bet um, than the Tampa Bay bucks. One, obviously you have Derek Henry. You just signed Deandre Hopkins. You have Chigo Conco. You oh, have yes, a, this is a chick play. You, That's you, what this is. You have <laughs> a, I, I think Vrabel is a really good coach. You have a, nobody believes in us narrative. They are an AFC team. And I think also when you're looking at these uh, having that extra home game, I think does make a difference. They're playing a very, they're in a schedule, uh, you know, they're in a division, much like the uh, much like the Bucks, that I, I think they have a chance, but really, defense could suck too. They like high variance opportunity, for high the variance. Defense, which I don't know where I am in this in terms of needing a good defense or a bad defense to win this award. It probably doesn't matter. For me, what's the very manageable schedule? Again, it's 110 to one. <laughs> they did have, and they had. I know what you're thinking, like, oh, they're just like a plotting offense. Yeah. No, when the Titans are good. <laughs> They have they put up a shit ton of points. If you remember in 2020 when they were 11 and five, which I think is in the realm of outcomes, uh, realm of outcome. Ryan, where do you think they were in points? Uh, I you know I was I was about to mention that last year they were 24 point per game. This year or sorry, last year 17. Year before 24, so that's a big jump. So the idea that things can change back in a positive way, and you're about to tell me that they were even higher. They were fourth. Yeah. In the NFL How? in 2020, in with 491 points. Now, what does that mean? It means Ryan Tannehill has a good year. DeAndre Hopkins helps him along. Derrick Henry stays healthy. Ryan Tannehill stays healthy. Again, decent, a decent amount of stuff has to happen. That's why it's priced at 110 to one. I still think this should be like 50 to one. I, I think there is some value here on the Titans. I think they're a sneaky team in a competitive point, AFC. Yeah, that, it's 29.6 points per game, which basically. If you look historically, especially of recent years, that year particular, like that COVID year, Tennessee wins the the award in in a lot of other years, twenty nine point six points per game. So no, no. I, so like I think that they, year was just an outlier, having two teams scoring north of thirty, yeah, uh, and and the Bills being right there, like that doesn't happen most years. So yeah, I like I'll, you know what I'll I'll jump in on that. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because again, it's one hundred and ten to one. It's a pizza bet, but. I I think they could all well because I think having the Jags as a potential shootout partner, having the Texans as a potential shootout partner, I'll be I'll be happy about that offense right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'll I'll take that with you. All right, uh, Packers again. I I I keep wanting to think Lafleur is going to finally run the offense he wants to run, and it's going to be really good, but can't pull the trigger. All right, Carolina ninety to one. No, thank you. Any interest in that one? No, no, no. Again, again, rookie quarterback. I, I just uh, can't even. There's some long shots I like, but I can't do it at Rams at eighty to one. Yes, one hundred percent. And especially, hmm. we talk about this in the chat. Um, their defense. I'm I'm slightly more optimistic on their defense than most because again, they have Aaron Donald. Everyone just goes, all they have is Aaron Donald. Well, he is one of the favorites to win defensive player of the year. So if you only have one star I, player, it's a good place to start, but they have Cooper cup healthy. They have Matt Stafford healthy. We've seen this Rams team. Again, they had the most points in 2017. They were up there uh, in the year they won the super bowl. So like they, they have that ceiling. I think Sean McVay came back and Matt Stafford. They all came back because they thought they had something here. Again, it's eighty to one. I I don't mind it. Like they could be, they could find themselves in a ton of shootouts. I I kind of like the Rams for another uh, market we're going to talk about, but I, mm. I see the angle. I don't I don't hate the argument. I'll pass. Uh, Patriots and Steelers at seventy to one. 
Catching up real quick with the chat. Uh, Black Kirk Cousins. Oh, what's uh, up, Black Kirk saying, Cousins? Titans are five to one uh, for over ten and a half wins. So of course I love hundred and ten to one for the highest scoring team. He's uh, Benedict Dantold pointing out. Uh, kids, find yourselves a spouse that talks about you the way Sean talks about Chig. Oh wow! Uh, D. Bettis saying 2020 uh, COVID year doesn't count. Oh, interesting. D. Bettis saying 2017, six years ago. Yeah, that's well, Jared did, Goff time. But uh, okay, who's better, Jared Goff or Matt Stafford? They still have the same head oh. coach, uh, Cam Akers. It's probably similar. Of, I mean, uh, it. I don't think that's that crazy that they could have an offense no, similar I, to 2017. Obviously, the big question they don't have that offensive line, but I think they've done stuff s- kind of sneakily, and we'll dive into it deeper on the team previews. Like, I don't think this O line is quite the disaster it was last year. And you and I believe you said uh, earlier about the MVP trend. Mm. So would I not counter your take here with a why wouldn't you just play Stafford to win the MVP? If you're, I know some places still have that uh, north of eighty to one. Okay, yeah, I mean, I gave out Stafford MVP, so yeah, I like that mm, as well. Nice tout. Um, I think when we gave it out, it was hundred to one, maybe. Eh, it was like seventy five. So okay, so it's close then. I guess clo- I think it's around there. But I think that you have some wiggle room. They don't have to be the highest scoring team if they're close. MVP is maybe in the realm. Yeah, I would. I guess I would probably go. Yeah, I don't know. I'd have to think about that more, but I mean, who knows? It I, could be Stetson Bennett. Put it this way: it could be it, Stetson Bennett. But yeah, of course, <laughs> according to their GM, he was the best quarterback in the draft. Jesus. If they if they are the highest scoring team, Stafford's definitely winning the MVP. There's a world where Stafford wins the MVP, and they're like not quite the highest scoring team. So I guess I, you're right. I would go Stafford MVP on that one. All right. So Patriots Steelers. I do no. like the Kenny Pickett stuff, but yeah, it's, they, it's interesting for fantasy. But I mean, the AFC North is going to eat at each other. You're playing a bunch of cold. That's Lamar the other thing. is going to pass now. So is Watson. So we've been told it could be a passing division. That's true. But again, like you're playing a bunch of cold weather games yeah. in December and January. Again, that's why I like Rams and, and Titans. There. It's going to be tough to, to average 30. Like that's basically where you have to think in your head. Can this team average 30 points a game? I, again, Steelers are interesting, no. especially some fantasy stuff, et cetera. But yeah, no, thanks. Browns and giants. Hmm. So interesting tier here. Yeah, I'm I'm out. <laughs> but I mean, again, you could uh, I'm not I'm not taking n- neither I, even if the Giants are good, they're not going to flirt with being the highest scoring team in the league. <laughs> yeah, I mean, why don't you take um, Daniel Jones adjusted touchdowns over 20 passing touchdowns? Yeah. That's got to be what? Oh, 200 to 1. Just take his MVP. That's that's <laughs> the move. And Bra- uh, and Browns same type of thing. I, I don't know, man. Like again, I'm staying away hearing, from AFC North teams. So the fantasy community has chosen to forget what this is a very righteous community of people that want to do the right thing all the time, right? Oh, like, I know. Scott Fishbowl. When I said charity. I thought I, when I said I thought Bijan Robinson uh would get injured at some point during the season. Oh, oh man. <laughs> <laughs> the internet the internet did not take kindly to that, Ryan. Well, how yeah. dare you predict <laughs> injury? You realize I don't. I'm not injuring Bijan Robinson. I'm not taking like a hammer to. I'm not pulling a Jeff Galuli oh, uh, wow. for, the, for the older uh, guys in the audience and showing up. Tanya at, Harding. Yeah, it, it pull <laughs> whacking Nancy Kerrigan, Bijan Robinson with a rod. I'm not advocating wow. that. I just think. But that's how we used to take care of business. It was a I, different time. Some guys are going to get injured this NFL season. I think Bijan might. Well, anyway, the same community is really falling in love with people like Elijah Moore because Deshaun mm. Watson's back. You guys not you 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 forget what he did? Blood is on your hands. All right, uh, moving along. Falcons Saints both forty five to one. Yeah, Saints, so like these, you can really make an argument if you believe in Derek Carr. This is interesting. Again, the lot the the. The schedule could be a little easier. To me, I'm on the like. I recently listened to an interview with Arthur Smith. I, I'm clearly falling in love with the yeah. Falcons as well. Once again, once again. <laughs> See, I, I guess for and me, he spoke about Jonu Smith <laughs> like a little kid would talk about getting like three scoops on the ice cream. I mean, he's got Kyle Pitts on the team, and he's giggling about Jonu Smith. 
This is going to be hilarious. There was, there was a when Jonu Smith outperforms Kyle Pitts this year. There was a stat that Jonu Smith was like the most efficient passer in NFL history. Wow. Um, he goes, he can just do things a little bit differently. <laughs> it's like, wait, I thought Kyle Pitts was a gold jacket guy. Uh, so uh, again, I'm out on the Falcons as a team. And to me, like I, I would Sean, who was Falcons the Titans at 45 to one or Rams at 80 to one. Like, come on, Sean, remind me who was the Titans offensive coordinator when they finished fourth in scoring Arthur Smith, Arthur Smith, but our, uh, we've seen multiple years of Woo! Arthur Smith not doing anything. Uh, Ryan Tannehill, I think is better than Desmond Ritter. That's probably uh, fair. Derek Henry. They don't have anyone that can put up touchdowns like Excuse Derek Henry me. on that team. They have the three headed yeah. monster of Bijan Robinson, I, Tyler I, Algier, I would, and Cordero Patterson. Chigo Quanco over Kyle Pitts all oh, day. Such an alpha dog battle right now. Deandre. So many alpha dogs on both the <laughs> Give me the uh, No. No. You can't do it. No, I can't do it. Well, because they again, like if they were a hundred to one, all right, I'm listening. But not a forty five to one. They scored twenty four point eight. Give me the Falcons. <laughs> Bears, Raiders, and Broncos all forty to one, and we're about to have a significant drop in odds. Bit of a shot. Uh, okay. Um, Bears defense is still going to suck. J- Justin Fields said he's going to be the first Bears quarterback to throw for four thousand yards. Well, and and he's making claims, Sean. The Bears fans are getting very, very uh, confident. Uh, Bears are an interesting one here, but again, like those those cold weather games at the end of the season just eat away at your numbers. Like they're never, they're not a dome team. They're the Chicago Bears. Not even yet. if not yet. Yeah, even if Fields takes a step up, uh, and they they win a bunch of games, I still think it's just so much to get them to be the highest scoring. All right, uh, Raiders, the Jimmy G foot thing. Maybe I'm a square, but that's scaring me off. Never going to take a McDaniel's team. No, and then. Uh, Russ, uh, I'm hearing some not so positive things about Russ's uh, assimilation into the new Sean Payton locker room. Yeah, I think um, sources close to the situation reporting that Russ is still fucking weird. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't. It's not out there yet, but any sort of like Jared Jared Stidham oh. uh, to see the field. <laughs> I think I think Russell Wilson's leash is incredibly oh. incredibly short as a starter you there in Denver. He is looking pretty ripped though. I'll give him that. He's back to lo- being that sexy guy. That yeah, and, the, and then for. these ones are like there's too many problems and the price isn't crazy. So I, yeah. I'm out. They don't have Arthur Smith. That's the problem. Dolphins, Jags, Jets and Ravens all 20 to 1. Plenty of reasons to be interested in any one of these teams. Dol- uh, here's my handicap of this tier. Yeah. Ravens make sense that it's about the same price as the Lamar MVP. Okay. He has the like we've seen Lamar explode before. Dolphins were doing it if Tua can uh can stay healthy. Like they were they were scoring at a pace to be the highest scoring team in yeah. the league. J- and Jets like Rodgers did it in you know but they they 2020 I, it, it it's not that far removed from putting up a, a so bunch of taking? points. I'm not taking any of them. Mm. Again, I I think there's maybe like I think for me I'm just sprinkling some long shot stuff here because well I got a team coming up. Okay. So that, and I probably like the price better. I mean, I guess if I had to choose one in this 20 yeah, so if you, range, yeah. if you had to, I, I would probably go dolphins. Cause I, the, the like explosiveness of Tyree kill. Um, yeah, I, I would probably go dolphins, but again, 20 to one, it feels short, man. It just does. Dolphins is the obvious answer for the weather. Yeah. I mean, and we're not, we're, we're, we're very clearly anti Jags compared to the market. All right. Next up Seattle at 19 to one Vikings, 18 to one. Chargers 16 to 1. I'll stop there. To me, I mean even the Vikings kind of stand out. Again, dome team, they they clearly have Seahawks is hilarious. The Seahawks shouldn't be around here. I don't understand that one at all. <laughs> uh, like the Seahawks Guys, to me should Gino, be at 40 to 1. We're going to be writing back to Geno Smith is going to be writing back this season. That's my prediction, Rex. Yeah, he's going to he's going to be writing on the chalkboard. He's going to be writing back uh, handwritten letters. To me the Chargers stand out heavily here. Uh, again, going back to the uh, the hits. What what better if there was a team to be the highest scoring team and miss the playoffs? Yeah, it would be the Chargers. Exactly. 
Uh, we know the story. I mean, you're, you're, if you're watching this on YouTube, you see uh, their new offensive coordinator is on the, the, the card. I, I think everyone anticipates this offense takes a step forward. They were 23.4 points last year, 28 the year before that. And they were running a relatively conservative offense. It makes you wonder what this, th- what they can be now sprinkle in the fact that they should be in some higher scoring matchups, uh, both with the Raiders, the chiefs, some of the divisional stuff. I'm 100% in on the, ch- in on the chargers. It might be the the last team that I, I circle. And, and this, this is a longer price than you can get for Herbert MVP. Yeah. So again, if you're, if you're, especially if you're playing one of these chalkier things, go back and, and well, cause you nailed it. These prices are very lined up against now I would, I think maybe, yeah, maybe make the exception with the chiefs there at five to one. Cause I do think there could be since he won it last year, I could see if they were the highest, highest well, he's seven to one. Yeah. I, I, I don't guess know. at that point you're that one's a little more because I think to it would be his back to back. I think the bar is slightly raised. Yeah. Uh, so, but so you don't, you don't, you're out on the Vikings. You're out on the Seahawks. Yeah. I mean, I I'm out on the Seahawks. At Vikings price. Vikings were eighth last year with uh, just short of 25 points per game. Pro- the same as they had the year before. See the Vikings are weird. Cause I think their defense is going to be slightly better. And I, I think it's I, not going to be quite the free fall that it was last year. I mean, Kirk cousins uh, made everyone fall in love with them <laughs> and they forgot he sucks in prime time. You like that? You like that? All right. Lions and Niners. 14 to 1 Cowboys 12 to 1. I I don't understand why the Niners are this <laughs> low. Yeah, they don't have a quarterback yet. They were 6 last year. They yeah. were only a little bit ahead of uh the Vikings. And to your point, they don't have that quarterback yet. So, I don't understand their price. The Lions price makes all the sense in the world. They they were 5th last year and they're clearly going to continue to have a bad defense and, and take a step forward offensively. Um, but I like the chargers more. Hmm. So like relative price. And then of course the Cowboys, they did lead the league in scoring two years ago worth noting, but they're going to run the ball more and they hired yeah. a shot They got rid of Kellen Moore cause he scored too I, many points. I hired a shot. <laughs> All right. Uh, bottom tier. The, the the pricey teams Bengals and Bills eight fifty Eagles six to one Chiefs five to one I don't know I don't I don't have much of a handicap here the 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 Bengals would be the one team that's probably a little interesting yeah but because I do think that Cincinnati gets off to a better start than they did previous years I think they have a real chip on their shoulder the way that uh, AFC Championship game went down I think they have the horses to do it. A division though, and then there's the cold weather stuff at the end of the season. That the makes bill, it a little tough. From a shopping perspective, Bills and Bengals, um, better prices to take the high score versus the MVP. Uh if if you're looking to to shop that. I will say Eagles stand out as I don't know how they would be the highest scoring team and it wouldn't be Jalen Hurts. Yeah, I mean there's so a pretty big difference. Jalen so Hurts Hurts is, is like eleven to one, uh, highest scoring six to one. Now Chiefs I mean, you could also just, I, I don't think it's crazy to toss Kansas city in here at five to one. I know m- normally I don't do chalk on these, but give me the chiefs of five to one to just pay for my long shot roll into the dices on these other ones. Cause Kansas city is still going to be really good. I, you know what? I think, and I think there's a, yeah, I don't know. I, I almost like this, like the highest scoring better than Mahomes MVP, just cause I think the. I think even the media has gotten Mahomes saturated, so I think they're going to look to find someone else to give the MVP to. So give me, give me a small sprinkle on the chalkiest play of the Chiefs. But really, it's just to pay for my long shot tickets. You know what? Give me the Lions too. Okay, I'll add one more, but I'm not taking anything from the top. Detroit's interesting. So I got Atlanta and Detroit in the NFC. I got the Chargers and the Titans in the AFC. Nice little spray. Yeah. All right, Ryan. Before we do lowest scoring team, of course, uh, shout out to Underdog Fantasy. Head over to Underdog Fantasy. Use the promo code SGPN. Best ball, best way to play fantasy football. You don't have to collect any dues. You don't have to worry about the waiver wire. You don't have to 
text your cousin at 1:30 a.m. and say reject some trade and then I mean I I was in a managed league and the two guys wanted to meet up and fight each other because of uh the what was it Jamar Chase the, it was like late <laughs> injury news it, it's it's madness the the only fun part about fantasy football is drafting the teams you then you sit back you relax and you got a chance to win 15 million dollars your share of fifty million dollars. Underdogfantasy.com promo code SGPN. Hundred percent deposit bonus up to one hundred dollars. Least scoring team, Kramer. Oh, all right. So basically, you would you would expect the odds to be mostly inverted, which they, they kind of are. Yeah, uh, we can probably speed through this. One. Yeah, so because we just finished talking about these guys, like the Chiefs are a comical four hundred to one. <laughs> I, look. I, we do have to at least address it. Like, if they lose Mahomes before the season starts, are they live for that with no. Andy Reid? No, no, not at all. No. You you no. saw what? No. Um, I mean, Andy Reid's done it with Nick Foles. That's the but. <laughs> Andy, no, I'm I'm just. Oh, he did draft Nick Foles. He did it with. He did it with. Uh, who was the guy who who hunt, hunted boar? Oh, you got some like Kevin Ty, Cobb, Kevin Cobb, Ty yep. Detmer, Coy Detmer, Both the Detmer Detmers. brothers. Eagles Re- at two hundred and one. Re- just real quick, uh, past winners of least scored oh. uh, points last year, twenty twenty two. Shout out the, to Hackett. the Broncos, who uh, and we. I don't think we broke down <laughs> this market last year, Ryan, but they were probably a pretty oh. good price because uh, of all the hype coming in. So, other than that, twenty twenty one Jacksonville. Uh, Giants were in second place, five points off. Uh, 2020 Jets were the winner. Giants in second place as well. Mm, there didn't win. 2019 the Washington Commanders. 2018 <laughs> Arizona Cardinals. 2017 Cleveland Browns. Giants in second oh, place. So three that, second places. 2017 was the Hugh Jackson jump in the lake because he didn't win any <laughs> games this year, right? All right. Ah, uh, yeah. Eagles. Man, so I, 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 not to get, but real, real quick, I. Fairly uh, disappointed that the Jets are being massive pussies about hard knocks. Uh, Eagles two hundred to one. I, if Hertz gets hurt, and it's Mariota, are they in play? No, offensive line. Defense. No, but again, th- that really should have helped Hertz's MVP case. That the two games he missed, they lost with Gardner Minshew. Everyone, j- everyone goes, oh, you know, anyone could run that offense. So that great offensive line. Gardner Minshew, who's a capable backup, came in. They lost both games. Worth note. And we like him. Maybe he's not capable. Phil, he seems to be just like uh, doing the circuit of the same coaches. So then you got Bengals at one fifty to one. Who's Cincinnati's backup quarterback? It's a great. This is a great trivia question for the bar. No idea. You're a football guy, Trevor Simeon. Okay. And then Jake Browning from uh, from UW. So yeah, I I uh, I'm move, I think we just can't. can't are the Bengals live for this? If if Burrow gets hurt again, because uh, some of these, it's like, man, that's a pretty long price you're offering me, and injuries do have. We don't like to predict injury. Well, actually, we do predict, but he's been hurt before. Yeah, I'm still out. They got the fourth pick. They got that they year. got really they got good Jamar receivers. Chase with the fourth pick that year. I don't think they were the lowest scoring team though. All right, Bills. No, nope. one thirty to one. Cowboys eighty to one. Mm. Schottenheimer. <laughs> I, I don't know. As much as we should on the Cowboys, they still are okay in the regular season. Seahawks, Chargers, Niners, all seventy to one. Okay, so let's at least observe what the, Drew Locke is the backup quarterback. I'm putting in Seattle. <laughs> I I I'm lower on market than Seattle overall. I think. I don't think they need a quarterback to get injured to have the lowest scoring uh, team. Like the, I, the division's not tough enough for me, but okay. But I mean, I see where your heart can serve. No, like, let's say Geno Smith plays like he played in those last games uh, in the playoffs. I mean, all right, humor me, Ryan. I'm gonna I guess up- it's interesting that they're the same odds as the Chargers, based on the other odds, where the Chargers sixteen to one, Seahawks nineteen to one. Niners fourteen to one on the inverted odds. So curious that they're all the same. Maybe you're getting some value here. Okay, so they they did put up twenty three points against the forty ers in the playoff game, um, but that was kind of out of hand. Right. Let me let me oh, read off let's hear read it. off some of these last um, results uh, of Geno Smith, the guy who's amazing. 
Uh, 19 point win against the Rams. Almost lost that game. They put up 23 against the Jets, who, as you know, were horrible. Yep. Uh, didn't look great in that game. They only put up 10 points against the Chiefs. Lost that game. They only put up 13 points against the 49ers. Lost that <sighs> game. Uh, they lost at home to the Carolina Panthers. They did put up 27 against the Rams. Um, they put up 34 against the uh, against right. the Raiders. That's right. good. They only put up 16 points against the Tampa Bay Bucks, uh, and that's kind of where the beginning of the Geno downfall um, happened. They also had a you know, I mean, they they really get worked by. I mean, they, there's a lot of division games where they didn't put up. Tw- I mean, they got one, two. Uh- Three, you're very. This is you're gonna four, get some hate mail. Five, six. People are gonna six games. They didn't get to twenty points. People are gonna assume we're talking love about Seattle. the Niners. Love Seattle. All right, you love them to not score points. Yep. Just to be clear. Yeah. All right. Vikings, Lions, both sixty-five to one. Nah. Jags, Jets, sixty to one. Uh, I don't know. Jets are interesting, but no thanks for me. Again, they I think they're gonna get Dalvin Cook. I think they have a decent running game. They were fourth lowest last year, obviously having Aaron Rodgers. But like, if Rodgers gets hurt, what what happens there? Oh, I I really want to say Jags. Why are we so sure the Jags are fixed? You know how many points they scored the year before with Urban Meyer? Fourteen point nine. Yeah, I'm slightly down on the Jags, but um, yeah, I don't know. Seattle is talking to me way more. Give me the Jags. They were the lowest scoring team with Trevor Lawrence as a rookie, and he did throw how many interceptions? In I mean, uh, Trevor Lawrence made a huge jump. Um, they from, could have a good defense, and not. not I yeah, I, I don't know. I. This feels I, I like, like a Seattle little bit better. of a str- Dolphins Ravens 55 to 1. No, thank you. Big drop coming. Denver 25 to 1. So yeah, obviously Denver's in the mix to actually win this least points, but Sean, Sean Payton. Payton's a good coach. You know what I mean? Like I think part of this yeah. is having either a super shitty coach, a, a conservative coach, or a super shitty quarterback. I, I think you have to check one, if not multiple, of those boxes. Uh, yeah, I, I mean probably the case or just the situation goes rotten. Uh 22 to 1 number of teams here Raiders, Bears, Saints, Giants and Browns. Uh Raiders is definitely pretty interesting to me. Uh yeah, I think we discussed them as the lowest scoring team or sorry, w- least amount of wins at some point. Maybe even the last team to get a win. Why are they in a tier with teams that have like are trending in the other direction. Yeah. I'm going to go Raiders. Cause again, uh, I'm I'll just kind of co- cosign. I think at 22 to one, there's enough value. This is a Josh McDaniels fade. This is a Jimmy G not in Kyle Shanahan system, a fade. This is Ooh. a, um, I like this that. is his foot injury fade. This is uh, maybe no Josh Jacobs fade. This is Devonte Adams not being happy fade. A lot of fades. A lot of fades. There's enough going on here. <laughs> Hopefully they don't do uh, too many of those laterals. I mean they were they only scored twenty three point two points last year. Well the Patriots were the ones lateral and they scored off that lateral so you can that's say what that's I mean. Hopefully they don't like oh, three yeah. points. Uh, we don't want them to. This is actually a fun future to bet because then you just every game you're rooting for <laughs> them to not score points. Falcons twenty to one. You probably like this one. I don't like this one, obviously. Uh, Steelers eighteen to one. Yeah, you know what? Let me toss in Falcons. No, I'm with you, Desmond. Okay. Desmond Ritter. I'm not. With I think you. about for the it. record, I'm not with you, Desmond Ritter, to have the the least amount of points, and you're getting it at twenty to one. It's right in the middle, right in the middle. Steelers eighteen to one. Patriots fifteen to one. Okay. Worth noting, but I do think Bill O'Brien. I mean, will, Ryan, the Falcons were neck and neck there with oh. the. Uh, the Falcons scored a decent amount of points last year. Did they? Uh, Three sixty-five, so they're right there, middle of the pack. Yeah, uh, twenty-one and, and change, and they they again they they seem to be yeah, headed I, in the right I direction. Think, uh, yeah, I, 
The, I know the, you're the direction Adam. is being led by Desmond Ritter. I'm seriously okay. questioning it. So good luck. Uh, pa- pa- Steelers or Pats? Pats yeah. at fifteen to one. I, if they still had, by the way, Joe Judge is the assist the so the assistant or associate head coach now. They promoted him. Uh, Deserved it. Great season. Seems odd. Panthers and Rams at fourteen to one. Nah. Rams could crater. Yeah, they Stetson could. Bennett could be getting some serious reps this year. Good. Titans, Commanders, twelve to one. Nope. Sam Howell sucking. Like, I wonder what the best way to play the Commanders tanking and getting, getting the first pick is. It the fewest wins, lowest points. Colts. Oh, th- this is kind of like they don't know. Colts, Texans, Packers, eleven to one. Bucks, ten to one, and then Cardinals plus six fifty. Yeah, I, I think you're crazy to take uh, any of these like chalky ones, because you're just like again, it's a, essentially yeah, con- I don't, I don't essentially it's it. not not quite obviously a 17 game parlay, but it's stuff through the entire season and uh, of the chalk fit, on this especially is of crazy. the chalk. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess it's probably I'd probably take the Cardinals because it, it it's the most compelling case and diving into the. Diving a little bit more into your boy Jonathan Gannon, it does seem like just stylistically there could this team could be playing to lower scoring games. So yeah, but I'm I'm not gonna do that. Give me the Jags and the Raiders. Fuck it. Yeah, I'll go uh, Raiders, Falcons, and then uh, Seattle Seahawks. Check out the chat. Daquan the Great is back. SGPN. Oh, I fucking up, love you guys. Oh, with a Q also. Yeah, worth noting. All right, you want to do bonus category real quick? Let's do it. All right. Unless the audience doesn't want us to talk about NFL, then then we can turn the show. Do you guys want us to stop? (laughs) Toss us a thumbs up. Smash that subscribe button. YouTube.com slash sports gambling podcast. Share. Come on, spread the word. Got a shit ton of free stuff. All right. So this is least points allowed. So this is a defensive uh, situation. So again, the the odds are kind of flipped around, but not quite as inverted as the first two categories. Uh, bottom to the top: Arizona and Las Vegas, both one fifty to one. Uh, they're obviously not uh, well. All right. So, any interest in Arizona? Jonathan Gannon, new defense, bringing it to the desert. No. Uh, <laughs> Vikings with one thirty to one. Trying to, I, I'm. Let me just walk off the uh, least points allowed winners. Like it, it's, I think it's a little tougher to have a surprise team here. Uh, really? Well, f- I mean, I think with that, without doing a deeper dive, but 2022 San Francisco 49ers, 2021 Buffalo Bills, 2020 Rams. Maybe that was somewhat surprising. 2019 New England Patriots, 2018 Chicago Bears, 2017 Minnesota Vikings. I, I think. I mean, I think all those would have been relatively chalk, right? I mean, I think we tend to, to to see more variance in defenses year to year, but to your point, maybe not maybe none of those teams were crazy unexpected. Yeah. Uh, I I would I would expect and, and the pricing kind of reflects this. It it does seem like more teams will be priced kind of in a mid-tier here because I think there's probably a little bit more variance than like the team that scores the most points, for example. So Cardinals, Raiders, cross them off. Vikings, one thirty to one. I think cross that them off as well. Texans, seventy to one. Play a bunch of shitty teams. I, I, mm, all right. D'Amico Ryan's Let's keep talking about this. D'Amico Ryan. Ryan's led a very competent. Will defense. Anderson, defensive player of the year. He joins the squad. Uh, they have they have the a really good corner third pick there. last year, Stingley. You know, like Lovey Smith, if nothing else, probably instilled some try hard in him. All right, you're talking me into this one. Okay, the 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 quarterbacks that they're gonna p- get to play twice will be Trevor Lawrence, Anthony Richardson, and Ryan Tannehill, or worse. It's compelling. I and. Ryan, sorry to interrupt. Breaking news: Edmonton oh. Elks covered the fifteen and a half. Oh, g- nice! Uh, that's excellent news for anyone who was who was riding that with Dick. Uh, all right. So, y- are you joining me with Houston? 
what if D'Amico Ryan's just immediately has this defense rocking? Yeah, no, I, dude, I, yeah, they're a Niners me, clone. They're give me, literally give me the running, Texans at seventy right. to one. I, I like this. Colts at sixty-five to one. Nah, no, right? Although they, they could really stink. Bucks sixty to one. Not interested. Eh. Really? Yeah. Let's, let's it's a talk defensive about it. Situation. Not a defensive-minded head coach. Yeah, but he's he's like an aggressive defensive-minded head coach. Yeah. That that makes me think. Yeah, I, I would I would think t- like, I think if the if the Bucks are good this year, they're scoring points, and it's not about low scoring games. That's my guess. Anything to add? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I guess I'm just trying to think of like what they did pass rushing wise. Maybe I don't know. I, I, their defense. I'm looking it up. I mean, <laughs> it's kind of interesting, right? What do you think their uh, most points allowed? So 2022. Did I say it was the 49ers? Yeah, okay. it was. Was it? Yeah. Then what am I looking at that showing the Patriots? Patriots gave up 20.4 points per game last year. The Niners were at 17.2. Perhaps you're looking at the year before, but New England was third that year, uh, behind Buffalo and Denver. So I, I'm not sure what you're looking at. All right, uh, Tampa Bay Bucks, though. Yeah, I'm going to take them. I, the I, don't th- I don't think their defense is as bad as. Well, I mean, twenty point nine two years ago, last year twenty one point six. Yeah, they're in the mix. Uh, I'll go Tampa Bay, because again that. Uh, that division they, they is still, motivated. that division is just wide open to me. Rams 50 to one. No, no. All right. Aaron Donald. I mean, he, he did once again, receive a 99 in Madden. I'm out too. Although that they're interesting if they become a defense first team, cause Stafford gets hurt again. It's Stetson Bennett's their quarterback bears also 50 to one. I'm out on both these teams. Uh, Giants and Lions at forty to one. Very disrespectful to Wink Martindale that that they're the same price as the Lions. I here. mean, again, Giants, Very. Giants, Bears, Lions. For them to be the least points allowed, it would just require such a massive jump. It's not even interesting. Yeah, I mean, the Giants gave up twenty two point eight last year, so they would have to drop that by five points per game, which. If you remove the fact that the Niners were a point and a half better than any other defense, it's not that crazy. They yeah. weren't that far off the pace. Uh, I'm not playing it though. I I don't. I'm not. I only play the Giants in serious markets like MVP, <laughs> uh, Super Bowl, Conference, Division. Uh, Kansas City, thirty-five to one. No, thank you. Nah. Tennessee and Washington, along with Seattle at 28 to one. Again, Seattle is priced in a way that doesn't make any sense to me. They should be closer to 50 to one. Uh, Washington, I'm not willing to bet on their defense. Tennessee, not willing to bet on yeah, their defense. Seattle, and I don't have the advanced metrics in front of me, but they I felt like a lot of their stuff wasn't sustainable. The success they did have on defense. Well, it's interceptions. It's shit like like the the, the Tariq, Tariq will, I mean, he, he was essentially like anytime you have an abundance of interceptions, it's not going to, it's, it's generally not Titans happen. again, kind of interesting, but I'd rather play the no, other, no. the other kind of stuff. Packers, on. Panthers, chargers, 25 to one Packers are somewhat interesting. Packers are very interesting. Yeah. They do play some, some offenses in their division, but they, they should be a good defense. Yeah. Uh, what would they give up last year? 21.8 middle of the pack, 21.3 the year before that, but they are going from having Aaron Rodgers to what is definitely going to be a grind out the clock offense. That's true. But, but then again, to that point, like you almost need your offense to be like decent enough to help your, I guess it, like some of it depends if I'm there's just world, going off a short, in, like yeah, less plays. There's a world where Jordan Love is so bad he puts a ton of pressure on the defense. And oh they yeah, crack, right. Or, so or they like pick sixes. I I don't mind Green Bay. I'm gonna pass because there's another team in a similar price that I kind of like more. 
All right, I'm gonna maybe we'll circle back to this. Browns, Falcons, Broncos, Dolphins, all twenty to one. We've done we've talked about the Dolphins as a sneaky defense this year. Vic Fangio coming to town. Uh we we know that Vic Fangio tends to have defenses that uh will have lower point scoring totals because of how they play. Yeah. I mean I, I think so, Miami's a weird team because if they are decent, their offense has that explosive playmaking, which you know, create some garbage time opportunities for some points. If they are really good, I, I don't know. I, I, you know who I really like though, at this who? price point, give me the Denver Broncos at really? 20 to one. Yeah. Okay. I like it. I mean, okay. they were 12th in points allowed last year with, I mean, just absolute dog shit. As far as play calling clock management <laughs> pressure, um, you know, pressure, pressure put on the defense. Like, yeah, they're good. I, I mean that, that you, you remember like these, the game situations that, that Denver defense was put in and they, they bailed out the Broncos so many times um, to kind of keep them alive. 21.1 points. I thought was really, really good. And you have, you have like, I got like Patrick Sertan, who I think is like coming into his prime. They certainly have the the tools and the step and again, forward regression makes sense. Nine home games at mile high, obviously a, a tough place to go in. And I know what you were saying, like, oh, they, you know, they got games against the Kansas City Chiefs. I mean, you know, they can kind of they can kind of hang with this Chiefs team. Um they lost both games and and let up, I guess, decent amount of points. But you know what? You know, like look at some of these games they played in. They lost to the Ravens 10 yeah. 9. Uh, they lost to the the Panthers on the road 23 10. They lost to the Titans 17 to 10. They lost to the Jets 16 to 9. Like this, they lost. Remember that Colts game? They lost 12 to 9 in overtime. Like this it, defense. No, and, I like the logic. And maybe they rose to the occasion because. They, I mean, they were so bad. They're okay. The I'm just gonna count up the games they held teams to 20 points or under. We got one, two, three, a four, five. Oh, we'll make it 21. Six, seven, eight, eight games, 21 points or less. Like they're gonna be in the mix. And if it wasn't for that game at the Rams where they lost 51 to 14 and the entire team quit. They, I think they, I mean, again, that drastically changes things. And so I like. I it. just, what I hate about them is their division. They got the Chargers and the Chiefs. Yeah, but I, I mean, I know they were there last year. Just vocalizing my concerns. Patriots at I, I, I can make a case for the Dolphins picking up Ramsey now. Chubb year two, big. You know what? Put, yeah, I forgot put, about put me down. I forgot about the Rams pickup. That's good. Give me, give me Dolphins. I I think it, it's too compelling to me not to take it. And uh, the 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 Broncos stats from two years ago that you were talking about were Vic Fangio stats. So uh, no, that was uh, or two years ago or last year. Two years ago. I'm just saying, like historical stuff, like bleeds into like that's that's we're not that far removed from it being a Fangio like defense. So the DNA is there, Sean. That's all I'm saying. Patriots yeah. and Bengals at 18 to one. I mean, Patriots obviously like two years ago, they were top three. I think uh, last year they weren't quite top three, but they were the only thing top they do 10. Right. Uh, you know, Steven Belichick while being a fucking weirdo looks like he, I mean, got they, those Coke lips going. They always play <laughs> defense. I, I don't know what to think about their division when it comes to the matchups, but I just, I don't know. Like it does seem like Belichick could be nearing the end. I'll pass. Yeah. It, they're they're like right on that bubble price point. Saints 16 to 1. Stop. We got to talk about this one. No interest. No interest. <sighs> the Saints last year they were ninth. The year before that they were fourth. Dennis Allen has had a good defense. Yeah, but I just don't think he's like a great coach. They're playing against. I mean, th I like Desmond Ritter, but some would say Desmond Ritter, yeah. Bryce Young, and they have too many. They have too many games in a dome. I think for me to take them. probably right there. I know I took Texans, I, but again, it's seventy to one. I peaked my eye at this one because it, I. But that's why, like Broncos, to me, 
you know, nine home games, elevation, weather, mm -hmm. tough place to mm -hmm. play. You imagine the offense is slightly better. You can say a lot of the same things for the Dolphins, honestly. Like they have a decided home edge in it's that. True. There's well, I think their home edge is early. I think late it's not as good. Uh, it still can be randomly hot and humid when yeah. teams are practicing in the no, cold. No, the, the Ramsey pickup. They got chapped. I lips like Fangio. And, yeah. All I right. just think I think in a weird way, Miami's offense might actually hurt them uh, in this in this type of bet. Did you listen to Mike McDaniel on uh, Pardon My Take? I caught a little bit of it. Yeah. Yeah. I, in some ways, it made me like him more, and in <laughs> other ways, it's like God, very annoying. But I I did I do like his it's general. His general brother in arms, right? His general methodology on leadership, I I'm pretty lockstep with. Jags and Cowboys both at fourteen to one. No, come on. Yeah, it, I don't know. I don't understand why the Jags are here. We think they're gonna have a good de. I mean, a defense that's this good. I don't. Okay. I guess that's a commentary about the rest of the division. Sean, Steelers and Jets, twelve to one, along with the Bills and the Eagles. I. I mean, again, Eagles new coordinator that would make them off the list from the chalk perspective. Bills have been up, been up there. Yeah, their uh, fourth last year, first of the year before. Von Miller back healthy, but to me, but out for how long? Yeah, I mean, come on, uh, Jets twelve to one, uh, not with Aaron Rodgers and mm. Steelers. Uh, oh, I love the Steelers, but again, price is wrong. Yeah. This, these chalky ones just Ravens aren't. nine to one, 49ers six to one. I I'm not no. playing the 49. I mean the 49ers. It's really tough to do it back to back years. It doesn't happen right? because there's generally variance with defense. Yeah, so I, I guess I would if you had to pick one of the teams that's twelve to one or less, who are you taking? Uh scrappy uh group called the Philadelphia Eagles. No, I, I actually think they're, I mean, they play their schedule. They play some like tough offenses. Um, I, I, saw, I saw the graphic toughest schedule next year. No per PFF. No, that's the trash one. You got to look at win totals. No, I, uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I, I mean, obviously the entire NFC East <laughs> is falling into that tough schedule bracket. So it's yeah, like, I mean, we got games against Danny dimes, who? Sam you Howell, mean vanilla Vic? Dakota rain. We'll be all right. Is, van is saying vanilla Vic racist? Hmm. No. Someone know, someone slid right. in my DMs and told me it was something <laughs> I should consider. Well, he didn't didn't Michael Vic co sign the nickname? That's that's how that was my response in the DMs. I said, Well, I I'm following the lead of Michael yeah, Vic. Yeah. Where did when would that have ever gone wrong? It's his name. Not my name. <laughs> his name. Yeah, he he signed off on the nickname. So no favorites? Yeah, the favorites aren't fun. I'm for totally this. the Bills shouldn't be there. They're not going to be an elite defense this year. I'll tell you that right now. Steelers, I like. Do I like them at twelve to one? You know what? Add add the Packers for me. Okay, Packers were probably the one I was closest to playing. I think taking the. I think we're we're attacking the right price range here, and obviously a little little sprinkle on, on the old Texans. <laughs> what, what do you think the max? What's the max play on this right now? You think? Where it's it's July twentieth. Yeah, we're taking a, a hilarious futures market. Let's see. So for me, my plays I'm going Houston seventy to one, Bucks sixty to one, Broncos twenty to one, Kramer's on the Dolphins at twenty to one, Packers twenty five to one, Houston seventy to one. And I was close to doing the Packers, but I don't I don't want to give out too many of these. For lowest <laughs> scoring team, Falcons at twenty to one, Raiders twenty two to one. Seattle 70 to 1, Kramer's on the Jags at 60 to 1, Raiders 22 to 1, highest scoring team. Uh you got to take the Chiefs 5 to 1. But the Rams 80 to 1, Tennessee 110 to 1, Kramer co signs the Titans at 110 to 1, Falcons 45 to 1, Chargers 16 to 1 and Lions 14 to 1. Oh yeah, let's go. Richard Gersberger with a lot of questions about Paxton Lynch. Really? I, is I don't think is Paxton Lynch still in the league? Uh, no, there's no way. He's probably a real estate he's an agent XFL guy. like Sean Glennon. He was a Brahma's legend. Uh, I mean, again, he was a Justin Fuente disciple. Got yeah. drafted in the first round because the Broncos are a bunch of idiots. Did you read about how Dan? Uh, sorry, this is a complete tangent. <laughs> 
how Dan Snyder he was waived was- by the Steelers uh, September fifth, twenty twenty. Oh. Then the Saskatchewan Rough Riders, Michigan Panthers, Orlando Guardians, San Antonio Brahmas. Did you hear? Uh, oh, now I completely spaced on what I was about to say. On what? Oh, Pat. What were we just? Paxton we Lynch. No, no. I, it's it's out. It's gone. I don't know what it is. <laughs> It was, it was something happened and it's gone. Woo, it's smoking about weed. <laughs> no, it, Please tweet us uh, or hit the chat. What was Ryan <laughs> talking about? Yeah, try to help me remember, please. Okay, help Ryan remember. You guys remember Sunday, eight thirty Pacific, eleven thirty East. NFL team previews start. Need everyone reporting for duty. Tell a friend. Yeah. Spread the word about the sports gambling podcast. No holdouts. 32 team previews. <laughs> yeah, we don't do, come on guys. We got team chemistry to worry about. Uh, a lot of big stuff coming oh. up. Big announcement on Sunday as well, Ryan. Yeah, uh, it came back to me. Dan Snyder, did you hear the news about how he would just randomly pop in and make draft picks? <laughs> did, no, Jay, no. Uh, was it like Jay Gruden was Jay, like Jay Gruden ratting him out. Which <laughs> was that via his new uh, show with his son? Oh uh, yeah, JJ. JJ. <laughs> Gotta get him going. Talk about bringing even more validity mm. to for those who wondered if it if it could imagine, imagine the Gruden Thanksgiving talking about Dan Snyder. Oh, it's got to be hilarious. Oh boy, I mean, what do you do? Do you? I mean, if you're if you're Gruden, you spend a little bit on a hit on some <laughs> sort of like like maybe you could get him roughed up. Well, that was the thing, Dan Snyder. He got fined sixty million on the way out, and so like he's pocketing six and a half billion. It's pocket change. Uh, you know, it's still sixty million. I it's, guess. A, it's like a you know, a little kickback. Yeah. Hey, smash that subscribe button. Smash! Toss us a nice rating review. Always uh giving out gift cards for awesome reviewers, people who go above and beyond. And again, team previews, NFL 32 NFL team previews, our best bets walking through the schedule. We got it all. Thank you for participating in the Sports Gambling Podcast. For Sports Gambling Podcast, I'm Sean, second money green, and he's Ryan. No excuses. 8 30 p.m. Pacific, Sunday night. Kramer, let it ride.